Hey guys, it's Narcon, and today we are going to be looking at my, wait for it, Narcon Vix Redstone House. So, let's go ahead and get started. So we have the fishing rod with lava pressure plate thing with the creeper door. Let me just show you that again. Like so. So the door opens up, and you walk in. So I use sandstone and spruce because those look really nice together. And then I have lighting underneath these. I'm going to use skeleton lighting underneath those, and a working fish tank. So this is the first redstone thing that we see so you can see the fish jumping out and having a blast and that gets really laggy so I'm going to turn that off so yeah there's that and then here is the multi-floor elevator so if I go down to the first floor you can see I'm using command blocks to get everywhere and because the button is not the same you can actually really fast hit it like I can go to floor 5 extremely fast so yeah floor 1 let's see so here is a villager sorter slash trading system. So you call a villager, I'll call three, and then while they're trying to swim up the stream, I'll explain some stuff. So when they hit the pressure plate, water stops flowing here, like down and there. So that way, more, or they'll, they can't go up this tube, so they have to go to the next one and climb up that, and so on. So if you don't like the trades they have, which that's actually an okay one, that's the same one, and that's terrible. Then you can just tell them to leave, and they'll fall down to their death. So over here, I have my automatic, well, I have my automatic potion brewing system. So strength two, regeneration two, splash harming, and swiftness extended. So what you do is, I'll show you with this one because we're gonna need it. You do click it, and then they go into the chest like that. You grab a couple, and then more will be made while you leave. Uh, over here, I have my enchanting room. So the dark green will lift up all of the bookcases, and the dark red will lower all of them. The light green will only raise one at a time, so I can get any level I want. And you guessed it, the light red will lower them. What's well, more of a pink, but you know, whatever. So yeah, there's that. And here's a door within a door. If you click this and you stand in the middle, actually go to my nether portal area over here or if you just jump inside come here uh, I forgot to oh there's a marker in there I, I was about to say I forgot to so you hop in and off we go to my blaze farm which I'm right by over here you hop out you can hear them going a little bit there oh no that's just the crusher on so we will wait till a couple spawn because they just joined the nether uh, I have a crusher system here that you can turn on and off the torches don't do anything they just for a little lighting the crusher system you turn on there's a timer it'll open up oh, there they come it'll open up they'll fall down into this block and the slab and it'll push them back and they'll start to die go to half a heart and then it'll open and you fall down and you throw splash potions at them and the afk timer here will after enough spawn that you get 30 levels almost roughly then lava will appear and it'll stop the blaze from like crashing your game so that's what that is so as you can see it makes it a lot really really fast so, yeah, they do not want to go down there. So we'll go ahead and turn on the crusher, and it'll we'll have to wait for the next time it loops back to open it. Dang, that one blaze is really resistant. So here it opens and it closes. Let me turn out my sound real fast, like that. So it'll crush them, like so. And then when they get to here, we'll just throw this, pink grab their blaze rods and stuff. Those go to the chests. Why? I saw, I saw them. I don't know where they went. It must, it must be because I'm in creative or something. Anyways, you hop back in, click the button, and you're off. Back up here. Uh, and then you would hit it, and then the minecart would go back into there. So yeah, let's go back. And here's a button. So, as soon as, so basically, I come down here to the first floor. I'll run, grab my splash potions, come down here, go to the nether, get my levels, run back here, Click this button, get teleported back up to my enchanting, and start enchanting right away. So that's pretty much it for the first floor. Time to go to the second floor, I'll fly really fast. So for the second floor, it's basically all my automatic stuff. I'll just grab these because I've recorded this multiple times. Let me just delete everything. Okay, so here, grab my potatoes. Stand right here and hold down right click. You can see I get potatoes for my rest of my life. That's my bone meal, like so. So I'm gonna lift that up and put these back. 
and I'll show you that later. Here's my auto armor equipter. So you see I have no armor. You walk in, and all the armor is on you. So that's pretty cool. Here's my chicken shrine. I walk in here, and you get to look at chickens be brutally killed. So here you have chickens up there that'll create eggs right there. They're in feed me mode, feed me chicken. So when these grow up, I can choose to have water, which will kill them, and then the chicken and stuff will go here. Or I can have lava and uh, get cooked chicken. So basically, I can give the uh, raw chicken to the villagers so I can get emeralds, or I can use the cooked chicken to eat. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if I come over here to floor three, we've already showed you that. That's the hallway to leave. Floor four is more my decorate, decorative side. So I come over here, I have a little sitting area right here. And I got a sink with a furnace, and my head's on a wall. Yeah. So here's my bedroom, and you sit down here, and you can hop in. The, well, it's not night, but you can hop in here, and then you, the carpet will act as like a cover. Uh, our light switch here, will, which will turn on this redstone lamp and these redstone lamps, but also I have command blocks that set these fences into redstone torches. So everything here lights up. And then I, when I flick it back off, I have more command blocks that set them back. So here's my mini kitchen. I've got a furnace, uh, cookbooks. Well, not a furnace, more of a uh, dishwasher. Uh, cookbooks, a cutting board area. I've got pumpkin pie and salmon to eat. Here, let me just turn this off real fast. If I can walk in there. There. Here's a bathroom with a glowing toilet, because glowing toilets are awesome. Uh, these don't work because one, I don't have room on this side over here to get anything to actually work. And two, uh, there's so much redstone throughout this house that if I was to make like a thing that'll pull it down, then block swapper pulls up an empty cauldron, and then it goes back down and pulls back, you know, just basically a, a regular toilet. Uh, it would actually, I would actually run into either the door, which is right below us right here, or, yeah, just that. Uh, here I have a light switch which will turn everything on, turn on that lamp, and here I have a frosted mirror, which you can see it reflects everything, but I'm a vampire, so, yeah, you can't see me. Uh, and then finally the fifth floor, which I don't have really much because I'm still working on that part. Uh, floor five, uh, you walk out here, and this is where I'm going to put my big, big projects, like an iron golem farm and a mob farm will be like over in this area and uh, yeah it just leads to the top side up here and that's that so if I come back down to the third floor that's about it for my version of the redstone house I know there are multiple on YouTube uh, but this is my version I got my own mailbox and I've got my own stuff so let me just shut this thank you guys for watching this is Norcon and I'll see you guys later bye